My name is Coach Gunnar Brewer, wide receiver coach and passing game coordinator at Oklahoma State University. In conjunction with Coach's Choice, we'd like to bring you this video clinic. I've been in coaching for over 20 plus years, having been born into a football family. My father, Billy Brewer, was a collegiate head coach for over 30 plus years and also played professionally. I started my career in junior college as a head coach in Mississippi in their league and also moved on to the 1AA level at East Tennessee State in the Southern Conference. From there, I moved on to the Ole Miss Rebels in the Southeastern Conference and also I've been in the Mid-American Conference where I was at Marshall University for four or five years where we won the national championship in 1996. Presently, I'm in Oklahoma State in the Big 12 and looking forward to a lot of successes there. In this video, we'll cover many aspects of the passing game. We'll talk about routes, individual techniques, and coverages. We'll also deal with the pass protection aspect of it and the quarterback reads and drops. Hopefully, this tape will be as successful for you as it has been for us. Today's video clinic, in conjunction with Coach's Choice, is going to deal with play action pass. What we're looking to do is throw the ball down the field, get chunks of yardage, and explosion plays. We're going to talk about the protection, diagram each play, and discuss each route individually. We're also going to discuss the quarterback's reads and how to push the ball downfield with the play action pass. What we'd like to talk about in play action pass, the first one is a concept we refer to as Boston. We like to run this pass versus quarters to the tight end or two receiver side. Split's very important here. We don't want any more than a 10 to 12 yard split. Closer is okay. We just don't want to get too wide. The theory of this play is we're going to alert the near safety, okay, and then bring it right back down, read it high to low. In this case versus quarters, we're going to try to get him to bite on the vertical push in the stem here by the hook route by Y. 12 yards should get him. Alert the safety. If he plays down, we're taking the post over the top. If not, then we're going to go from the hook down to the flat route. If all this is fails and looks cloudy, that we don't get what we want, we can always have a come open late running the backside here with a come open late with a dig and the backside running three to four yards on the backside weak side route with a flat. Okay, you can also mix a corner in if you want for a high low on the backside. Okay, must keep the backside cornerback out of the play. Come open late, it's on the backside for you for the quarterback if you get to it. Backs are checking first, then getting out. It's key that you do get them out if their, their guy doesn't come. We're working on a seven-man protection so we can push the ball downfield. The reason we're play-action passing is because the safeties are playing down on the run. Okay, We want to make sure we take advantage of that and try to get them over the top with the big ball with the post. If not, we'll come back down to our lower levels right here, intermediate to flat. Let's take a look at one or two of these, see how successful we are. Here we have a 21 personnel look with a tight end, two backs, and two receivers. Again, we're going to try to alert the free safety or the safety to that side. Here, if we get the safety playing down, we're going to go over the top with the post. If he doesn't play down, we're looking for the tight end to the flat, or we can have a come open late on the back side with either a corner route or a comeback. Here you see the safety already walking down. Now the tight end releases, runs his hook. You see the safety pop his feet, start to play on the tight end. Obviously now it tells us the middle of the field is open. We can launch the post for the near side goal post. That's our landmark and we're dead on it. 15 yards, three steps, then eyes to the sky is our coaching point. Great location there. The receiver does a nice job of holding the defender off, shielding him with his back. Using, using sprint draw protection here, we want to pick up four a week, protect the quarterback's back, have the tailback on the middle linebacker, fullback on the outside linebacker to any sky or secondary player. They both get out a little late, but they both get out. That's as close to the landmark as you can get the near goal post, just the way we draw it up. Here you see a quarter's look to this side where we're going to read the near, near safety. He's playing the tight end. He's down. Leaves one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. See your flat defender not become a factor at all. Backside, we're going to occupy him with the, with the dig route. Okay, it's a little too, too tight. We like to keep him wider. We've got the landmark post there. Over the top, we keep our feet. We score. Nice throw and catch. We'd like to run that one in for six. 
running off a spread draw, a split draw action here. Faking it, the back needs to roll over here. See he's too high. Linebacker can tell he doesn't have the ball, but the linebacker can't leave until the back passes the quarterback. So we still hold him with this action. Now you see the safety on top right here. He plays down on tight end from the tight view. Now there's nobody back to play the deep post. Ball's on the landmark. We're in good shape. Here we're using motion. Now we need to extend this split and really work outside. We've got to gain some width to keep it on the front side goal post. Here you see the safety play down. Much better action by the quarterback. Great fake here. Good job by the tailback rolling over the ball. You see what you get when you uh, have a good action. Backside's eaten up by the safety, so we take him out of the way with the dig. They double the dig. We're in great shape. Now he leads the ball to the backside. We'd rather keep this on the front side goal post. We got a little lucky here, but uh, we'll take it. Need to expand this when you get out of a bunch set. He needs to expand this split with his stem. Need more coverage distance between these two runners right here. We're on top of each other. We should stay the near side goal post. Instead, we're on the back side. That's a danger zone for us. Nice split here by the Z. 10 to 12 yards, no wider here. We've got to get over the top of the Y. You see the front side safety play down. He stutters his feet, does not respect the post. That's the whole key. Then launch it over the top. Got a good throwing catch right there. Explosive play, more than 20 yards, moving the chains. Sprint draw protection, we're protecting full week. Now we put the tail back on the Mike linebacker, and the fullback's got outside backer to sky. Nice throw over the top of the safety you see right there. Like to keep it to the near goal post because you worry about the backside defenders. Here we've got the action. Faking the zone here. We're in a bunch set. We need to take a wider split looking at the tape. Wider stem, I mean, by the bunch guy here, the Z receiver. He should push outside more to create more separation. Tight end does a nice job of running the hook. Okay, gets, gets him the bite. We're over the top. Here's where the backside safety come into play if you leave it to the backside goal post. We do catch it, move the ball forward, but you see he takes a nice shot right here. We'd like to keep it on the front side. Not too bad on the fake. Good camera angle here. As you can look at your fakes and see where it is when you look at your end zone shots, you ought to do this in practice to see how it affects your linebackers or the defensive secondary. Now we're going to move to a crack and go. What we're looking at here on the play action versus quarters coverage, we prefer it. 10 to 12 yard split, maybe even 8. Whenever this Z receiver can get to the play side safety, fake blocking him, then stick his foot in the ground, go vertical, or adjust to the corner. Usually get a crack and replace by the corner in that case, so you got a big open lane to throw it to. We're going to play action. Want to draw them up, draw the safeties up, then leak him late for a check down route out in the flat. Backside, we'll come open late with our dig. That's what we prefer. You can do whatever you like to in that case. Again, split here is important. No more than 12. Probably somewhere between 8 and 10 would be a little bit better. And play action to him. Okay, you can do the same thing on the back side. Or you can play action this way like a backside cutoff block and do a check route or a backside V route, whatever you like to call it, and uh, do that also. That's another way to run your crack and go. We prefer it on the play side. Let's take a look at a few of these and see what we get. Okay, this first one is, is a version of a crack and go. It's more of a block and go here. We're in a third or fourth and one situation, short yardage. We're going to fake the power off the edge, and we're going to slip the, the receiver in here or the power back up the seam right here. He's going to fake like he's blocking the edge and do the same thing and slip him up. Got to have some guts to call this one. I, obviously, with the down and distance and where we are on the field, you see the action right here. We're faking blocking the end. We're slipping the end right here, which ends up being the corner, the end man on line of scrimmage because of the formation we're in. Slips the corner. Now he's out the gate in 88. Very successful play there, of course. No risk, no reward. Got to be willing to take a chance, which we did here. 
Now we get to more of a quarters look that we talked about. Here we got a quarter safety. You see him across the board. Usually when we crack, he replaces. We're going to get a block down here, and then we should stick our foot in the ground, go vertical. If they adjust, we adjust. You see play action to him. We should have the back going here and then drifting in the flat. We've got a dig on the back side as a come open late. Here's your crack. They didn't replace, so he just adjusts, finds the open hole out here. A little background ball. Quarterback sees it, get the ball out to him, and again, it's a big play, pushing the ball down the field with play action, getting big chunks of yardage, over 15 to 20 yards there. It's what we're looking for. Here's a tight version. See us when we, keep, when we block the tight end, you see how the safety reacts. Gives you more of a full flow. Look at the two linebackers on the action. Taking the backs, he turns the corner around. Got a lot of yards there. Here we've got the formation to the field. We're faking into the boundary with an offset back. Now we leak the full back and keep the tail back in. You see us go crack the safety at the level 10 to 12. Once he bites, we're up. Go vertical, push the ball over the top, outside shoulder right here, here we go. Now we've changed the formation. We've gone to a 22 personnel set, motion and in. It's third and one. Play action to him. Safety just throttles his feet down just enough for us to go crack block. The corner's not a factor. Now we take it over the top. Quarterback adjusts his throw. Goes over the top of the, of the safety there. Outside shoulder of the receiver. You see him reach up, catch it. Nice job. Here's your end zone view. Tight end blocks. Other tight end releases. Play side's what we're trying to get. See the safety here. Look through to the backfield. Chatter his feet a little bit. Now we're going to talk about four verticals and with the play action pass. What we'd like to do is talk about the spacing first. Outsides, we want to use max splits and run, run the five yard highway. Five yards from the sidelines, what I'm referring to. Insides, we're hash plus two, one high safety. We're going to stay on those landmarks, lower the hole once we pass the cover down the fender, try to get it in there 18 to 22. Okay? If we have two high safeties, we have to designate one of these, game plan who you want to be the beater versus split safeties, okay? That means this. Once you get two high safeties, one of these two guys has to keep it thin to win. The other one's going to run hash plus two. The way we like to do this is always put the running back under the beater route or the bender. So your, your, your protection has got to tie into your back. In this case, so does your action. So in, if you want to go to the left here, you would fake to the left with your line going to the left. You wanted the beater to the right, you should fake to the right and put the back that way. It's important to try to get the back out after that because if the linebackers do sink, don't respect it, you need a way to dump the ball down to. Next slide we're going to look at is a three by one slide. In this slide, you see it's three by one, meaning three receivers to one side, one to the other. Okay, with the play action pass, whatever we run in this case with the action, we want to make sure we keep our hats low Stay, stay on our guys. Okay, give the quarterback a little time to throw the ball here. Now, our landmarks, max split, five-yard highway, max split, five-yard highway. Now, the slot receiver in this case, hash plus two. If it's one high safety, he stays on that. If it's two high safeties, he is the beater. He bends it and stays thin to win. Remember, 18 to 22, we don't want to get over that landmark. You run into the safeties. Now the third receiver wants to go under Sam over Mike, 18 to 22 on the backside hash. Under Sam over Mike, that's what we're trying to get here. Again, our action to him, then we can get our back out where we get a high-low on this side over here with these two guys, plus we get one over the top here too. Let's take a look at a few of these and let's see if we stretch the defense. Okay, as you can see here, we're in uh, 20 personnel, three backs. I mean two backs and three wides, all right? Now we're only going to get three verticals in this case with this action, but we're still going to stretch the field. Five-yard highway, five-yard highway. Now he should stay thin to win, stay on this near goal post, let the ball lead him to the backside. 
Now he must defeat the cover down defender. We prefer him go over the top because it keeps this hole nice and wide. The action, we hope, holds the two backers, so now it creates a nice lane or an alley to throw the ball to between the safeties and the backers. If we can hold them, there's a big area to throw the ball to. The action does hold the backers. Look at the backers go up. Now, unfortunately, we take an inside release at the top. It squeezes our hole down. We still stick the ball in there. We get a little deep. You like to catch the ball at 18 yards. Let's average this one out. Ball is on the line, so we're at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26 yards. We're getting closer there, a little deep. If we catch the ball a little sooner in this area, safety doesn't have the chance to draw back on it and draw this blow. Still catch the ball, moving it downfield. Put the fullback outside and the tailback inside. Puts him in the flat. Now it puts him over the ball. You see if we keep this thing thin right here on the backside goal post, we've got a better opportunity without getting hit. Or if we keep this thing lower in here, in this level here in the 18 to 20 yard range, he's not a factor. He's not even in the picture as you see right here. Now we've gone to a 3 by one actually unbalanced. Okay, in this set, we're using a boot back action. We're going to fake it over here with the zone. Good fake. The quarterback's going to roll back and set up in the pocket in the guard tackle area right here. Okay, now he's going to read over one, two, three. We've got a split safety type look over here. Shouldn't have a problem. It's well protected. There's your action. Watch the linebacker step up right here. Creates a hole in the back end, a big hole. Even the corner draws up on this action. Obviously, the better you're able to run the ball, better job you'll be, be able to throw in this tight pass with play action. Sets up. Take his pick between one and two. Decides to go to the same player, playing two on one with this cat right here. He's outside releasing. He comes off the hash. Now you got two on one with him. Watch the action here. Back to tight end off. This tight end should stay in. He's unbalanced. There's your zone action. He should stay with this. He should stay with that. That's why we got leakage. It's a bust here by this guy. See, he's open. He's open. Take your pick. We're working two on one on the outside, so that's where he went inside. Here's a good example of a strong run set versus a strong pass set. We've got to make the cover down defender play us. Here we're going to get the five-yard highway. We're going to be hash plus two. Hash plus two, throttle in the open area here because we've got one high safety, five-yard highway. Play action, we're going to work the zone play action right here. Get downhill. Now look at the backers stepping up. Now they have to react after that. It calls the seams. Look at this big seam over here to throw the ball into from here to there. It's over uh, 15, 16 yards. That's as big a hole as you're going to get. Watch it from the tight version. Getting tricky here, just trading the tight end and the wing. Watch this play side backer right here. Now he takes away this seam throw, but he doesn't take away the backside seam throw. Look at the hole we have all the way over here once we run the play. Look how big a window we have from this backer to there. Obviously, the play action sucked him up, and then after reaction, he chose to work to this side instead of to the field. If he had worked to the field, he would have displaced over here. You'd have seen a shorter throw to the tight end, and would have hit the seam right down, right down this hash. Nice throw and catch. Now get the ball vertical. We're going back to three verticals now because we're we're in a tight end and two wides. Play action. You see the safety drop down weak, so it's gone to one, one safety. Now the tight end's past the cover down the fender. We've got to push the middle of the field. Once he passes him, he sticks it to him. I we'll want to keep it to him before he gets to 22 yards. Ball is on the line here. There's 5, there's 10, there's 15, there's 20. He's catching it right at 20, getting hit right at 22, 23. You see, once he gets over the linebackers, the quarterback executes a quick drop. Token fake here. One, two, three, four, five, set, throw. 
Ball's right over the backer area. You just need to get him to hang just a little bit. Create some space in behind him. Here we're going to talk about scissors. Great quarters beater or play action versus man. Good job drawing these guys up, making a safety defend. Here we're with a seven-man protection. The backs are checking, releasing, and then getting out. What we have is an eight to ten yard split by the Z. Want to push the 15, stick his foot in the ground, three steps, then eyes to the sky, landmark post, looking for the near goal post. Inside receiver here is going to go 10 to 12, stick his foot in the ground, and go to 26. Okay, backside, we want to keep the backside out of this, so we'll run a corner or a comeback route for come open late. Again, we're going to check the post to the corner to the flat. We're going to read it down, reading from high to low. This is your come open late. You can check backside off the weak side defender. Let's take a look at some of these. Here we have a twin set or two receivers to the field. We're going to play action pass to them. Unfortunately, I believe we're going to get a zone blitz and lose both our backs. So when we do lose our back, we lose our flat control. And in a zone blitz, that's very important. As we run the tape, you'll see split here needs to be no further than six yards apart when we're, when we're extended here. We want to make this happen as quick as possible for the quarterback's read. The post is taken away. Remember, we're alerting the post first. It's taken away. Then we come back to the corner to the flat. There is no flat because we lost him in the flare control with the blitz. Good job here. We're going for 26, though, in the soft area. The outside corner squeezes it all. We got a good throw in between there. Really puts them in a bind. Nice execution without having the fullback or the tailback in the flat. Gets it up and over the flat defender here. So watch the action. We're going to keep the backside tight in in. Remember, we want to protect right here. Try to push the ball downfield with our play action. Makes it look just like our run action with the tight end blocking. Running to the left, quarterback has to really get quick in his mind to get his feet aligned and get the ball out. Nice job there. Here we're going to use some motion. like to get the Z receiver tighter than what he's going to get. You see we motion him in. We like to get him inside this hash mark here. Going to play action to the tight end. Okay, they got a deep safety. He's honoring the post, so we know we're off the post right now. Now we come to the corner. Corner out here, what does the defensive corner do? He sinks with the post, so he gives us room to throw the ball out here. Location, we're trying to go for 26 yards. Nice, easy throw. If that's not there, he sinks too far back, Then all we do is check it down to the back. High load on the strong side in that case. Here's your uh, tight version. End zone copy. Not much of a fake here. like to get more of a fake. Fullback's got to get out of the way of the tailback here. He's got to quicken up using sprint draw protection here. Nice throw and catch. Now we're trading the tight end. Motion in the Z. Running it to the field. Again, we're checking the post. Make sure we're not in motion. Is the post there? Nobody's honoring the post right now. There's nobody in the middle of the field. The safety's off the hash. We're in good shape. Let it rip. Good job of running and going to getting the ball. That's where we talked about sticking our foot down, going three steps, and then getting our eyes to the sky. End zone view here. We're offset with the fullback. Mixing our formations. Reversing out, a little like our ISO in this case. Make everything look like your run, whatever runs that you have. Fullback's hooking up, tailback's in the flat as you check down. Trying to get the ball to the near goal post, not too bad right there. Now we're in 22 personnel, we're getting close to the red zone. We're motioning, we're trying to hammer it in. Good split here by the Z, rather than be tighter than wider, especially to the tight end. Who's going to honor the post? That's our first read. Who's honoring the post? Nobody honored the post. Inside safety jumped on the corner route by number two. We're up and over the top for a touchdown. Same look here. We just motion in. Z in the tight end. Good split. Driving for 15. Stick. Is anybody in the middle of the field? Do they honor the post? No. So we got a chance to throw it over the top right here off of play action. 
We got the corn route coming in behind him. The only route they covered here was the flat route. Read the post to the corner to the flat. Here's your end zone view of this. Better fake. You see the token fake out here. Ball show. Show ball, show ball. Now they got to react once the back passes and doesn't have it. Sure helps. See the tight ends open. Nobody in the middle of the field. You see the post is open. Got to do a good job, of course, running the ball for any play action to work. Now we've moved our tight end off the ball. Got to a 20 personnel type set. Our split's good at the top. Nice job by him. Read the post. They're in a quarters type look. Safety jumps the corner. Route. The post is open over the top. Nobody's there respecting the middle of the field. Got a chance for especially versus that split safety look to get a big play. End zone copy. Good. Show ball. Linebacker then reacts. Watch this linebacker here. Steps up in the line in his back. Creates a lot of space back over the top. Good illusion there. Here we're in twins again. They give us a split safety look to the twins. I don't know what they're in backside. Again, your read is, hey, does anybody take the post away from you? They take the post away from you, it's easy. Go to the corner, then to the flat. You got to be able to protect this to get the ball downfield to run these 15-yard routes. Takes a little time. That's why we like the seven-man protection. Sprint draw also keeps the quarterback from being too antsy. The ball fake, seven steps, set, let the ball go right there. That's an easy read. Let's talk about Dino. Dino for us is double glance. We want the split here to be six to eight yards. We want to stem outside angle right here, gaining as much width as you can for seven steps and sticking and breaking back underneath. Inside receiver is going to run a real skinny or a seam post here. And all we're going to do is read the safety. Play action is a quick five. It's a bang it throw. You really got to stick it in there. Treat this just like double slant with seven steps. Sometimes if your timing doesn't work, go to five steps. Backside, 10 to 12 yards. We're going to run the corner or we can run the comeback. We're just trying to keep the backside out of it. Okay, and then we're going to leak it back uh, late in the flat and try to hook somebody over the top. Again, this is a timing throw. Quarterback's got to have great anticipation to be able to bang this in there. If you run glances and you're good at it, this would be a good route for you. If not, then you need to continue to work on probably something else. But it does have a good feel for like a long double slant if you like the double slant concept. In this case, double glance concept. Let's take a look at a few clips and see if it fits what you like. Here we're in 22 personnel. A lot of play action comes out of these strong sets or these uh, two tight end, two back sets for us. Got to make sure we don't get a jump off the line here. Remember, about six yard split would be plenty. Stem out, okay? On your seventh step, you ought to hit that foot, outside foot in the ground. Quarterback on his fifth steps, letting the ball go. Anticipate the timing. You see there's not, not a great deal of separation between the two, but it's just more like double slant where there's enough to get the ball in. There's enough separation here. The safety's on the back side. No problem entering in here. We beat the corner across his face, stick it on him. So basically that's what we're working on. Cross the corner's face or the defensive back's face, stick it on him. Watch the quarterback here. One, two, three, four, five, bang. Ball's out of hand. No waste of time. Token ball fake, just a show of the ball. One, two, three, one, two. Right there and the ball's gone. On the money right there, accuracy is a premium. Now we're going to bunch. Again, we need to extend this split, I mean, extend this uh, angle that he's working out, create some more separation. It's probably a little tougher out of uh, a bunch set. Read the near, near safety. He stays on the inside. We're throwing the outside. He gets on the outside. We're throwing the inside. We're just reading the safety here. Again, this is a bang it throw. We stick it on him. Not a lot of wasted movement or wasted time. Good run after the catch. Here's your tight. One, two, three, four, five, set, throw. See where that ball's on his body? This is not a down the field throw. Again, 
I would suggest treating this more like double slant, just a longer version of it. For a quarterback, he's got to have a great sense of timing and good footwork here. Got to really spend time in routes on there, working this with the play action. Watch the safety here. Safety plays over the top. Now you know you're going to the inside. You're just reading the safety. The outside receiver should take seven steps, extend this with an angle. Stick, he broke across the corner's face, but he felt like the safety was in play. He took the inside throw. Actually, both were open, stuck it on him. Big play right here. Nothing more than a seam slant by the inside receiver. One, two, three, four, five, plant throw. Great job by the quarterback, sense of timing. We cut loose some people up front, end up making the throw because of five step, no hitch. Here we've got a bunch look. Again, we need to expand this stem really outside to create more leverage. That's a little too tight there. We like it a little bit wider. We can bang it in there, as you see here. Sticks it in there on his body, just like the slant. Good throw and catch. Great sense of timing. See the action here? Wide everything up inside. Nice job. Now we've run this several times against this team here. You're going to see us change the action to give him a little bit more time to work the corner out here. See him outside stem him here on a little move and then cross his face. So it's more of a little double move. In this case, this was a game plan issue. You see here where we take the safety, cross his face. We know we got him leaning inside, so we're throwing it outside. Good run after the catch, getting the ball downfield for explosion plays. It takes a little bit longer by reversing out. Ball fake looks like something we had earlier. Running the ISO that way. Good throw and catch. Here's a little different version of it. We're going to take an outside stem here by the receiver after five steps. One, two, three, then stick our foot down. Put the ball on us right now. Okay, the tight end needs to run, needs to push vertical right here, need to run through the ball. Unfortunately, we didn't get the timing we wanted right here. Should have made the play. This one's slightly different because it's off a little bit more deeper drop. Shorten this up and try to stick it in there. Same concept, just, just tweaking it just a little bit. Going to motion in. We need to cross the safety's face. There's the outside stem. Pushing it with play action right here. This is more of a hybrid here. This falls into more of a, what you would consider a double post type theory instead of double glance, but it's still into the double, double post realm. Whether you run it with a seven step or whether you run it with a double move, now everything depends on your action and how much time you have to throw it. You see a boot back action here, which changes things a little bit because it's going to take more time. So we'll lengthen the route a little bit, try to tie it up with the action. You want them to be married. Going to use the sprint draw action. Here we need to cross his face. The uh, outside receiver here needs to separate a little bit more. With his outside stem, or he should have stemmed off the line of scrimmage to create more separation between he and the inside receiver. Got stripped of the ball. Pretty good pass. Wish would have been a little bit wider. Would have resulted in a touchdown. Here as we push the ball downfield, we're going to take a look at the outside corner routes with play action pass. What we want to look at first is a soft or a cover one. One high safety look, this receiver here is going to push seven steps, three steps to the post with his eyes looking, then stick his inside foot in the ground and drive to 26. If that doesn't time well for you, you can go five steps and then three steps and back to 26. If you get a two shell and play action pass it, we like to stem inside, push vertical up to 15, and then go to 26. Here, either way, you've got to buy a grass back for your quarterback. You need room to throw the ball when you're throwing corner routes to your outside receivers. The inside receiver, 
whoever that might be. If it's two high safeties, we want to keep it thin to win, him run a beater type route. If it's one high safety, we like to put him on the end route. We like to leak our backs either side, whether it's drop back or play action, whatever we get to, in this case play action, we need a high load to have some kind of flat control for the play side. Let's take a look at one or two of these clips and see what we're getting. Here we're in 12 personnel. You see two tight ends. Hoping the defense is going to bite on the action. We're not mirror routing this. They have backside is going to run the dig here. We're just going to have one receiver to the play side where we're faking the ball, run the corner route on the outside. Split is good, two yards inside the numbers. Seven steps, three steps. Now look, he's between the numbers and the, and the uh, hash. Now we've got enough room to throw it to the boundary. Now here's our key. Right here, if he's above the cut, we know the ball is going to be thrown back underneath us. If we're even or he's below us, we're taking it over the top for the touchdown or to 26. Now we've got a high-low between he and the back. We've got this guy beat right here. We've got him beat underneath. No underneath coverage can affect it right here. Pushing the ball downfield. 15 to 20 yard plays like that. Sure do help you move the ball without having to get a lot of first downs and grind it out with three yards in a cloud of dust. Here our tight end's blocking. He's wrong here. He should be reaching the outside pad. Faking the zone play this side. That Got to do a better job of getting our arms over the ball. Okay, just like we receiving it. Quarterback does a nice job. He drifts. Sets when to throw the ball. We want to throw the ball when he's in his break. When his hips sink, the ball should be in the air, and we should be in good shape to have time to catch it and become a runner. Here now we're in two backs. You see the safety spin down late to the field. Going to play action to the seven route or the, or the corner route. Good split again. We should be okay there. That's, that's the pro numbers you're looking at. Tick mark here is the college numbers. Two yards inside. Stick. One, two, three. Now he's too slow coming out. The ball should be in the air right now. Should be in the air and not wait for us to come out of the break. Now he's above the cut. Obviously he's above the cut, so now we can come back underneath here. Throw the ball in this area right in here. Okay? Ball's in the air. We're a little late. Still we catch it. Get our yardage, get upfield, good throw and catch. We just got to work on our timing aspect. Okay, we can do a better job of that. We've got time. Ball should be in the air already. It's too late. Right now, the ball. Right now, the ball should be in the air. He's in his break right there. It's his third step. Ball should be in the air. Gives the defense more time to break on the ball. Routes on the air. You got to really work on that. Now this is an outstanding throw here. Working on the sprint draw action. Working the inside corner release, inside stem press, and back out deep. Our high-low got screwed up. Our fullback should get to the flat quicker. He's getting too vertical, and then we're bringing somebody back over the top of that. Great throw here. You see the inside stem route on the corner, pushing the ball down the field. Nice timing route. Successful play. From the end zone, can't hold the ball. May have looked a little bit too long to the left, but it ended up being pretty good for us. Here you're going to see an inside stem, in, up, and then out. Relative to where he is, if he's above the cut, we'll throw the ball underneath. If he's below the cut, we'll take it over the top. Play action to him. Need to get somebody in the flat, which we do. You see how the inside stem turns the corner's hips, and once his hips are turned, he doesn't have a chance to play the outside break. That's what I like about that inside stem first cover two type stem. Play action could have been better. You need to get your back to roll it over. Not too bad by the quarterback. Getting your backs out though, that's highly important. Can't emphasize that enough. Here we're going to talk about getting the ball over the top. We're taking a shot at the post. We looked at a few things earlier. But now we're going to run the single post with the dig backside. Going to keep the tight end in. Either split flow it or full flow it. You can slide it however you like to do it as far as your action. Sprint draw however you want. But we're trying to throw the post over the top. Make the safety come play us. Right here, you're going to see where the quarterback's going to be in a seven step mode. Get the ball out of hand. We're looking for a landmark post, which for us is the near goal post. 15 yards, 
three steps, and then eyes to the sky. So we're not going to look back until after we get three steps. We're looking to separate and beat the safety over the top. Come open late on the back side. It's going to be a dig for us at 16. We prefer it. It takes a little time. We can stay away from anything for the back side. Here we've got a couple of slides of this, so let's take a look and see what we get. Here we have a split safety look. We're going to play action to him. We're going to see what this safety does right here. This receiver on the outside is going to drive for 15, stick, push three steps, and try to get to the near goal post. Backside, we should have the dig on. We're in uh, 12 personnel right here, blocking both tight ends up. Faking the zone play outside. Should have low hats. See if the safety will just square his feet up and pause just a minute. Now we got the ball over the top. We have the theory if we're even, we're leaving. You see him can't get there. The ball is thrown over the top of him. Landmark's pretty good. Near goal post. Taking the shot, making the safety, honor the post, make him honor the middle of the field. At least one or two times a game, you got to take a shot, get the coverage off of you so you can throw your intermediate and short routes. Here's the end zone version. Need a little bit better fake here. The tight end should be blocking out here. Good job of running through the ball and going to get it. Results in a touchdown. Here we're going to try to push the ball down the field with just the go ball. You're seeing only two receiver routes as we talked about. We're trying to affect the defense with little things as corners, posts, digs, things of that nature, push the ball vertical. Here we have a case where we want to get the ball straight down the field, come up and lay it on the back side. We can max protect it with slide. We can sprint draw protect it or, or split flow protect it, but we do like to have an outlet for the quarterback on the play side where we are showing the play action. Okay? Now, here we want to get the ball no deeper than 40 yards. We want to attack the defender, get on his toes, stick, and then separate from him and find the ball. If the ball is to the field, hash plus two, we'd like for the ball to land at the top of the numbers. If it's wider than that, that's fine, but we want to start there and then work out. Give, give plenty of room for the ball to be faded outside so the quarterback has a lot of margin of error. If we did it to the boundary, we'd want top of the numbers. Don't want it to be wider than the five-yard highway, so that way we give the quarterback room to drop it over the top of the shoulder and to the boundary right here. Okay, let's take a look at the first one. I believe it's to the field. Here we have the Z receiver. We're in good shape. The X receiver, I'm sorry, to the field. We put the formation to the boundary. Hash plus two. We're in good shape because we've got plenty of room now to throw it to the top of the numbers, which would be down here. We want to get the ball no deeper than 40 yards. We think the safety can come into play if we get it further than that. We'd like to keep it under 40. We're going to play action pass. Take a shot one-on-one. -on -one, see if this safety here, he should not be able to make the play from here out. Should be one-on-one -on -one with the corner. Everybody's down in the box. That's what you get when you get 21 personnel a lot of times. 5, 10, stick. Get into the upper inlets of where the safety can come into play. Here we wanted the ball at the top of the numbers. Let's count it out. There's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. There's 40 yards dead on it. We'd like it to be under that. Here the, the corner really got up and bailed outside. We just take the inside. We know it's going to be thrown top of the numbers, and that's exactly where it landed, just like we practiced. Don't be afraid to push the ball downfield. Especially with this, this personnel grouping or 12 personnel, if you're a one-back team, you're going to have a chance to get some single safeties, possibly, or some matchups single outside with the safety can't give any help over the top. Take a chance. Give your, give your receiver an opportunity to go one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, here we're going to take a shot at the goal ball down here at the bottom. Unfortunately, the secondary really was back and, and uh, gave a lot of ground. We're unable to get the deep ball here. We're going to throw it back off a of play action, hoping to get him up. Fortunately, we got the over route coming across where we get the ball here. That's where we're talking about. It's nice to have some sort of outlet. It's off a of play action. The action here is we're faking down the line option. 
trying to get the deep ball, and then if not, we'll get the deep crosser. We got uh, two levels right here. Weak side flood, basically what this becomes, a go, a shallow, and a deep crosser there. Watch the action from the back. You'll see the linebackers play up. Again, this is play action away. Then we're going to try to get the go ball, take a shot at it right now. It's not there. Then we come down to the, uh, to the climb route or the deep crosser and into the shallow. Ends up being a weak side flood. Now let's move to a shorter version. Play action. We're going to run the speed cuts. Very difficult. You got to have great timing with the quarterback. It's a quick five and you got to bang it. A great throw versus eight man front or any soft coverage. If you get two high safeties, you need to convert that. Okay, and then you got to work the middle here on three verticals in this case if you get two high safeties. You want to prefer to run this versus one high safeties. It's a quick five and you need to bang it in there right as he comes out of his break. The receivers, both receivers mirrored routes, 10 to 12. Going to speed cut this, expect the ball when you get out of your break. Make your decision at 8 yards, pushing vertical through 8. Then you got to roll it over to 12. The further you can push vertical and snap it at the end, the better you'll have. Let's take a look at three or four of these clips and you'll see what I'm talking about. Here you see the safety spinning, or you get a quarters look where you're putting a bind on the, the flat defender. Here you see the flat defender. It's hung inside, can't get there, ball to the field, tough to defend, quick action right here, one, two, three, four, five, ball out of hand. Nice job by the quarterback, good vertical push by the receiver. A lot of room to throw the ball there, nobody outside underneath in the coverage. We're leaking the back uh, out in the flat late. Fullback, he's going he's gonna to get out there as quick as he can. He's got to check protection first. But remember, with the action, we should hold the person that's responsible for the flat. In this case, we do right here. Split, hash plus two. You've got to have a tight split by the Z to the field. And the boundary, you want to be on top of the numbers or one yard inside. Again, you see the flat defender. We've got a quarters look now. We've got a quarters look and they got an under front. The flat defender is on line of scrimmage. You see what happens on the action. He hesitates. All it takes is just a second. He can't get underneath it. He's chasing. There's no way he can get there. We're buzzing the safety down weak here. Like to throw it to the field. Here's a tight view. You see the quick action right here. One, two, three, four, five. Ball's out of hand. There we go. Now let's go from the outs to the deeper outs, which we refer to as fives or comebacks. Here in the case, we still want to go to the field. If we go to the field, hash plus two, no more than hash plus four, it does become a long throw for the quarterback. I want to play action this with seven-man type of protection where we check release so we can push the ball downfield. Earlier, we were working 18 back to 16. Cause of timing with the quarterback and maybe speed of the receivers, we shorten it 14 back to 16. And what I mean by that, back two, want to take an angle at a 45 degree, push back to the sideline and away from the defender coming downhill. We need to have a flat control somewhere off of the action, front side and or back side. If we can get them both out, we'll try to get someone both ways. Third receiver or the slot receiver here, I'm sorry, if it's two high safeties, he's the beater. He's got to keep it thin to win and we'll convert these two outside to become three verticals. If we get press coverage, we'll leave it locked on, and we must win. We can work some stutter moves off of this also with play action either way. Here we're going to look at the comeback routes and see how successful we are going 16 back to 14. Here we've got a good split to the field, hash plus two. We're going to play action. Good split in the boundary. Got plenty of room either way. We're in a two tight end set here. So we're going to try to leak the back out late, keep both tight ends in the block. 16 back to 14. Ball should be in the air when he sinks his hips. Going to the left, quarterback's got to do a good job of getting his hips around and feet around and get them set and launch the ball when his, when his uh, weight goes down. Right now we want the ball in the air. This is a little late here, not too bad, but we'd like to be a little bit quicker so we have no reaction time by the flat defender. Here you see an eight-man front team right here. 
enough hesitation, plus he draws on the back, that we got a good spacing, enough room to throw the ball in between those two defenders. Here's your end zone version. There's your action. Need to get the shoulder pads down a little bit better, fake by the back. Good throw and catch, though. Now they're played up on us quite a bit. We may want to take a chance. We're in 21 personnel with play action pass to them. Now we're going to mix the stutter in with it. Here something comes off of something. The five route, we're stuttering it. You see the cornerback take the fake right here. He bites on it, reaches out and grabs the receiver. We get the 15-yard pass interference call. We'd rather have the, the uh, touchdown if the ball's outside. Hopefully we could have gotten it in there. Receiver did a nice job of stuttering his feet and turning his head ever so slightly to make the cornerback bite. Sprint draw action. We're getting the fullback outside and the tailback inside. Here you see the tailback's got protection. Fullback gets out in the flat. Does a nice job there. Stutters. Now we're mixing a play inside of a play. Something's got to come off of something else, whether it's the quick outs, the speed outs, the comebacks, your hooks, your turns, whatever it be. We're talking about double moves here, okay? So you've got to have time to throw them. So that's where your play action pass comes into play. You can stutter both sides and take the best look either by leverage or what during the game time, what you think, what safety or what corner bites. Okay, need to get a back out in the flat if you can after protection to hook up to affect the underneath coverage where we've got a check down route, either it be the tight end or the back. Here we've got a few clips of these, so let's see what we get done. You see we've got a reduction in splits here, giving us a run look because we're in two backs. Like to be able to block the safeties. The outside receiver here, we're going to fake the sprint draw to the X. We're going to reach outside. We're going to get to his outside pad. Do a little, little hitch and go in this case, a little stutter move. You see, the, you see the defensive back's head come around, take a peek. When we look, he looks. He can't stand it. Now we get vertically past him. We stick the ball on him, have a successful play down the field for a touchdown. Watch the backfield action. Wasn't a very good route, but it was all it took. As we get even, we're leaving. Nice job by the quarterback, sense of timing right here. Ties in, we got his touchdown. Here we're going away from the action instead of to it. The backside receiver is going to push, fake the comeback right here. 10 to 12, he's going to stutter it a little bit sooner. All we need is the, the defensive back to stutter his feet. When we get even, we're pushing past him. As you can see, we blow past him right here. Quarterback does a nice job with the nod, using his carriage of the ball. Throw it up over the top. Got a positive play right here. Again, the action enables us to check seven. They don't come. We get them out. Affect the underneath coverage. Give us a check down for the quarterback. Nice throw over the top. We talked about the five-yard highway. Getting the ball outside. We got to make sure we leave some room. Again, we're going to the backside away from the call. Hopefully getting the safeties to drop down and spin like they did here. They spin away from the call. Or the play side here, you see him drop down, you see him spin away. Now we're throwing away from the safety spinach, so we're in good shape here. The rotation is good for us. Bad route, we want to get to our, our depth, whatever it's going to be that day. 10 to 12 in this case, push vertical when he opened his hip up. We should push vertical right past him right now. Talking about up top, right as he pushed vertical, right as he opened his hip, we should clear his hip and push vertical past him, then stutter. We're giving up way too much room on the sideline. Ends up making a great catch and scoring, but we would like to have a little more room for error here as you see the quarterback from the end zone copy. Time's up well for us. Nice job. Here we're, staking, we're faking the comeback off a of play action to the weak side. See him drive off the ball, really good vertical push. You see him turn his head ever so slightly, stutter his feet. Defensive back now has stopped. He's dead. We're moving forward. He's, he's, uh, we're moving forward, and he's coming the wrong way. Ball's thrown a little bit inside. We go get the ball for a touchdown. Nice job there. That concludes today's video session. If you would like to contact me, please feel free to do so 
on my email address at gunnerbrewer at aol.com. Hopefully these concepts and these plays will be as successful for you as it has been for us, and good luck this season.